Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Pro Jamaica Man and I'm back with another video. And today I'm here with the point guard uh best clothing stats for the point guard position. Now I would give y'all a proper welcome, but currently it's like it's like almost six AM y'all and I'm here just trying to squeeze get this video out before you know what I'm saying I go back to sleep. Uh because I work today so I want to get this video out the way I don't want to be having to you know what I'm saying make a video right before work so uh, I'm, I'm here with the uh, best clothing stats for the point guard position so uh, yeah let's get into it guys I'm not gonna make it too long like the center one the center one was very long because as you all know I'm a center player so of course I gotta get my center players right but it's not too too difficult too too difficult for the point guard players man it, I'm just I'm just gonna make it slight I'm just gonna make it quick I'm gonna make it precise for y'all so yeah let's get into it man I'm Audi let's get into the video bro all right so yeah for y'all you know I had to get right man you know I had to get drippy so I I put together a little concoction for you boys you know what I'm saying so I got a little drippy fit you know what I'm saying a little ninja kakashi mask got the back 23 from the season one you know what I'm saying? I could have put on the little content creator, but I said, you know what? Let me not go too hard on him. And I, I, I relax. You know what I'm saying? I relax. No content creator shirt. Just big chilling. You know what I'm saying? So, without further ado, let's get into the first piece of clothing. The first piece of clothing is the upper body. Now, when you're playing SG, there's two things you want to go for, right? You either want to go for layup dunking, uh, where most point guards don't really focus too much on this stat unless they're doing ISO point guard and you want to go crazy like that, man. But uh, when you min max with point guard, the three-point shot man the three-point shot is very important you could go for mid but point guards already start with pretty high mid shot at so I wouldn't focus too much on going too crazy on your mid shot at so uh, yeah that's the reasoning behind that your three-point shot is very low if you're building the meta card deck I currently don't have one on but most point guards run time or uh, the other card set I'll go ahead and look it up right now for you guys for all the people that's asking ah uh, man I knew somebody was gonna be like ah oh, Jamaica don't know what he talking about he's not doing the research when he's doing his videos he just talking out of his hat nah bruh nah stop that BS bruh I'm really in this I'm really in this like I'm legit I'm legit right here right now so most point guards either use just begun or time right so if you're min maxing for these stats as you can see and from my first video and what I told you guys when you're going for these clothing stats or when you're statting your clothes the thing you want to be going for is whatever is on these cards right here so you want to be min maxing for whatever is on these cards so if your cards say three points steal and run that's what you're supposed to have on your clothes unless you're going for a unique build and you're using card sets that are you know what i'm saying are like odd cards i consider something like this odd because power block isn't guaranteed in this game and power block is pretty much the only guaranteed way a point guard gets to block in this game even though point guards block pretty consistently I'm not too much of a, of, a, of a fan of the time card set point guard I just had the card set so I decided to equip it for you guys just to min max to show you all the stats but uh, yeah on the upper body piece uh, go ahead and throw that three-pointer on, man. Stack up your three-pointer. Make sure you hit those open shots, man, or have have the highest chance of hitting those open shots. But uh, yeah, let's get into the next piece, man. I'm not trying to make this video too long. For Lower body piece, same thing as I said before. Uh, 
you're stacking the stats that are on the cards. You want to stack those stats that are on the cards. I went for a three-point shot. And then now I'm going for a steal, right? And guess what's going to happen for the shoes, man? Let's get right into the shoes. <laughs> Let's not waste no time on that. Now that y'all clearly see what I'm going for. And I'm just giving y'all a template that y'all could use. A little guideline that y'all could use when y'all are standing y'all's clothes and stuff. To know what to go for, right? So, uh, yeah. Let's get into the shoes. Okay, now. so this is where it gets pretty tricky for y'all, right? So, you're a point guard. You want to be stealing. You want to be as fast as possible. Most point guards are trying to be the freaking flash on the game, right? So, you're trying to stack up as much speed as possible. Uh, point guards don't really need control because they start with pretty high control. Inside shot is pretty much useless unless you're going for violent slams or something like that. Like, why would you double pump on a point guard <laughs> inside the paint when you could just double use the double pump skill after you doing a layup? Like, that's the most broken combo in the game right now. In, in turn, opposed as opposed to dunking and getting contact fails. So, uh, yeah. So. This is where the line is drawn a lot. A lot of people want to be fast. A lot of people want to stack as much block as possible. And for me, in my opinion, I believe the block is better than the run. Because point guards start with a lot of run to begin with. And you don't need to be running around with 280, 290 speed, almost 300 speed if you're a point guard. I think the max you can get is 280. So you don't need that much speed if you're a point guard on the game, you know what I'm saying? So I would go for the run. You sh you have like, I want to say like 160, 170 block. I mean, I'm sorry about that guys, I made a mistake there. You, you have around... Uh, 160 170 block so I would go ahead and try to stack as much block as possible uh, and put it on your shoes so uh, yeah St go ahead and stack the block on there and just as a disclaimer for you guys when you stack these stats on these clothes you're not gonna transform into a god you know what I'm saying you're not gonna transform into no goddamn god I'm not guaranteeing y'all wins by putting on these stats it's just a guideline or uh, what I would put on my clothes and what what would, you know what I'm saying, allow y'all to perform better for each position just based on these little extra stats that will help, you know what I'm saying, put your character, put your build over the top if you're building certain meta decks or certain meta card decks. So, it's not no free win, free win cheat strategy, nothing like that. It's just to make you better, alright? So, uh, yeah. Let's get into the back now. And of course, man, haven't thrown on any offense so far except for the three-point shot. You could go for more three-point shot, but this is where I switch things up. I throw on the layup dunking on the back just to, just to have the little added uh, layup dunking on the back. You know what I'm saying? Just... Just to have it there, just to have a low plus two, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you need that low plus two. Maybe you have like two or three, two or two, or two layup dunking and you're trying to get to that two or five layup dunking. If you're trying to min-max your layup dunking, just go ahead and throw this on. If not, you could put on a uh, mid-shot or three-point shot. But for this part, I would put on layup dunking on the back. And uh, yeah, let's get into the accessories now and wrap this thing oh. up, man. <laughs> uh, when I started the video, uh, I, I wanted to be I, I wanted to be a little bit lazy and and just put on you know what I'm saying another three piece top and not go over everything singularly. But I said you know what I'm not gonna rob y'all, man. I'm gonna go over it one by one just to give y'all a complete analysis of just the mindset, the thought process that goes through my head when I put certain stats on certain piece of clothing. So y'all could, you know what I'm saying, develop that kind of mindset and uh, my game crashed. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I don't know why, but LD player, LD player was solid in the start, but now all of a sudden, I don't know if it's because of my uh, stuff that I've been copying on the game the, the stuff that I've been getting or because I have a lot of resources 
to load on the game but now when I load into certain things the game just decides to crash but I know y'all digging this drip man I know y'all digging this drip y'all better stop the cap when it comes to this drip man drip lord big Jamaica man big 23 stop playing with me man but yeah as I was saying before I just want to give y'all a little thought, a little uh, example of the thought process, just so y'all could develop that kind of, you know what I'm saying, understanding when it comes to putting these builds together and stuff for your character. So the obvious choice here is pa is the steel uh, on the hat. So go ahead, throw the steel on the hat. Uh, let's get into the uh, glasses now. So. I actually have on a mask that's interesting so it doesn't I think the masks where is the mask oh my god I lost the mask <laughs> here it is so the mask actually functions as a gla glasses and a mask here so that's a two-piece set. I said I wasn't going for a three-piece set, but this is a two-piece set. It's something slight. It's not going to affect y'all when it comes to y'all's build, man. But on the hat, you want to throw on some steel here. Min-max your steel. Uh, um, and then on the glasses here and on the mask, I want to say, which counts as, a glass, as glasses and mask, uh, you want to throw on some added run speed here and then go for the steal or block it depends on what kind of point guard you are when it comes to the glasses to be honest for me I would stack the steal because I'm someone who prefers steal over blocks because you could get nine ten blocks in a game and at the end of the day if you're if your uh, teammate isn't hustling running to get the, the ball that's on the floor or they don't straight up keep the ball you know what I'm saying uh, after they block it <laughs> which is the only position I I trust when it comes to blocking and just straight up being able to keep the ball is power forward because they have block and catch point guards power block you know what I'm saying you need to block the ball it, it, the, the, the opposing team to could get the ball back it results in an open man you know what I'm saying open man on the opposition open three I know y'all have seen this before man you get a block your teammate doesn't hustle for the ball you don't get the ball back and then boom wide open uh, opponent you know what I'm saying shoot shooting an open three and you end up losing the match off of it so I, I'm someone who prefers steal because you have a higher chance of keeping the ball the when you steal the ball it's stolen and drops right at your foot so you could go ahead and pick it up so yeah steals and intercepts are my thing so I would max out my steal when it comes to the glasses here put some run on the mask and uh, yeah let's move on to the uh, wristband now which should be the last piece on the clothing set here so uh, yeah hope y'all have enjoyed this video so far man uh, let me know in the comments what was the most interesting part to you guys let me know what you guys have learned from the video so far and uh, yeah pretty much it's plain and obvious what I want to go for here the block a run you don't need too much run and see it's plus one run control point guard start with high control to begin with inside shot you don't need uh, unless I don't know you're a weird you like doing weird stuff inside the paint <laughs> I don't know some people would go for this I don't know but I wouldn't go for this this is a this wouldn't help you at all so stack the block stat on the wristband plus two block instead of plus one run and uh yeah that's pretty much it fully statted guys for the point guard uh position hope you guys enjoyed this video man wait <laughs> you guys almost caught me lacking man i know somebody was getting ready to grill me for not putting on this block on the chain man it's whatever it's all right y'all don't caught me slipping before but never again man never again <laughs>
<laughs> uh, good try, good try. But yeah, block plus two on the chain, man. Got the uh, rich chain on here. It goes with the outfit set because the rich is actually white. So it blends it with the shirt and the uh, rich has like a little black outline around it. So it, it matches with the outfit set. And uh, yeah, pretty much a little drippy fit, you know what I'm saying? I wish the arms weren't this muscular on the on the clothing fit, but hey, it, it shows out the pants, man. It makes the, the pants pop when it comes to the outfit set. And then the pants go with the, the hands because the hands have like some little gold and silver on there. I don't know if it's silver or if it's diamonds. I'm going to say it's silver, gold and silver. And it goes with that little keychain on the pants there. So, a little drippy fit, a little slight drippy fit. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Uh, let me show y'all the stats before I end out the video. Here y'all go. So, I'm rocking the time card set, which gives, uh, I think, I, it gives me plus 10 block right now. But if I max it out, I could get to almost 190 block. So, yeah, 261 run, 238 steel, almost 240 steel, 225 stamina, 244 mid shot, and then 203 pointer. This is the most complete point guard build you could get if you're really going to be a tryhard point guard. The only thing I would say is mediocre on this is probably the layup dunking uh most point guards wouldn't be happy with 180 uh 181 layup dunking i put one into the inside shot just to be a troll but hey any everything matters everything counts right but uh yeah that's pretty much it for the video guys hope you enjoyed comment and let me know how you uh, felt about it and uh yeah it's your boy pro jamaica man and i'm out of here peace Thank you.